beautiful wall decor and I'm using a piece of old material that I have and I'll be using the same method that I used to make my Z gallery plaque if you didn't see that video as yet please go and check it out the link will be in the description box below all right so let's get started I'll be mixing school glue along with some water and then I'll be saturating my material I'm going to be using a Dollar Tree poster board and I'm going to put that on the back of my material just to use as a frame since I won't be using any frame for this decor. And I just shape the material to how I want it to look when it dries. And after 7 hours in the sun it was dry enough for me to work with. So I'm just using my foam brush to dust away any particles that might have been on it since it was outside. Then I'm going to use this black primer to paint it and I'm going to go over it with some gold also just to see how it looks. I've never painted fabric before so I'm just playing with colors right now to see how it would look. So I stop halfway into it. I also run out of uh, my black spray paint. So I didn't like the look of the material. I was seeing the fabric pattern coming through and that's not how I want it to look when it's on the wall. So I'm going to take some tacky glue and I applied it all over and then waited two hours to spray paint it with my gold spray paint. And I tested a little air first to see how it would look before it was dry. So I'm just carving out the extra um, poster board from underneath the fabric. And then I'll be applying these sequins and I also added some um, gemstones on the top. I still wasn't satisfied with the look so I added some Mod Podge on the raised areas and then I applied some gold glitter all over. And this is how it turned out but I was not satisfied at all. The color was just overwhelming and it looked dated. So I have this um, old Japanese frame that I picked up from the trash and I'm just going to tear it apart. It was already ripped and I'm just going to cut this in pieces and I'm just going to attach them to the frames. It's six pieces of frames and I also took off the sequins. After I was done attaching them, I went outside and I spray painted them silver. I think they look so much better in this color. I was trying to decide on how to place them on the wall, but I think I'll do that as soon as I decide where exactly they're going because I think that plays a big part. So if you look closely at the area where I put the Mod Podge, you see how shiny that looks? It almost looks metallic. So if you should remake this, I would suggest using the Mod Podge first before you spray paint it. I think the Mod Podge is a great sealant and I wish I had done that. So on the areas that I had the sequins, I'm just going to use some acrylic gems to kind of hide the spots. And I'm going around the frame with my bling wrap. Now 
Next, I'll be taking some Mod Podge and I'm just going around the same raised areas and I'm going to be adding some um, glitter over it. And the glitter that I'm using is eyeshadow glitter, but it's an old one that I don't use anymore. And here's the second result guys. I love this one. Which one do you love? Let me know in the comment section which one you would prefer. With this one we can change up the shape depending on the space that we're working with, you know. I like this one. Please remember to give me a thumbs up if you like it. And thanks to my subscribers for keep coming back. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing and Select the notification bell so you'll be notified every week when I upload new videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.